All right, just going to make a video showing that Calvinists like to twist 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 25 to show, or to attempt to prove, in other, other words, that man has no free will in the context of salvation. I'm going to show how they take this verse out of context, as they do most of their other uh, favorite little proof text they like using. So like I said, Calvinists like ripping this verse out of context to teach that man has no free will in the context of repentance regarding salvation. So let's actually read the verse, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 25. In meekness instructing those that oppose themselves, if God per preventure, will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. Okay, so again, some points I want to make. Again, let's read this verse in context and see what's going on. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 24 to 26. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient. In meekness instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out, themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Hey, so what's going on in this passage? When it, why, See, I want to point something out. They say that, oh, God is giving you repentance. Well, what's going on? Why is God giving these people repentance? Okay, here's why. Because they were open to repentance because of the good testimony displayed in verses 23 and 24. That's what's going on there. They're, they're open to it. Why? Because being meek and patient is the proper way of soul winning and following God's method will always lead, always lead to success. Uh, whether or not you get someone saved or not, it's the proper way to present the gospel. When a lost sinner has the gospel presented in a biblical manner, he is more open to repentance. Okay, why? Well, compare this with Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 to 16. Philippians 2, verse 12 to 16. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to do, to, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Holding forth, holding forth the word of light, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, nor, neither labored in vain. I'm not good at reading on a computer. But what's this passage talking about? Because verse 12 is also a verse that a lot of the conditional security heretics like to rip out of context to teach you can lose your salvation. What's going on? Well, in contrast with both these, with verses 24 and 26 of 2 Timothy 2 and Philippians 2, verse 12 to 16, it's about having a good testimony and conduct with the lost world. In the eyes of the lost world too this is no way of saying that man has no free will in the context of repentance it's not at all saying that it's talking about having a good testimony see this is why you have to read these verses in context and look at the, and compare scripture with scripture which is what a lot of the calvinists don't do because why calvinism is a cult that's what i've said before so don't be deceived by calvinism this is just another one of the verses they like twisting and isolating out of context to prove their calvinistic false doctrine so don't be deceived may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye